here we are then, Champions League is coming next. Welcome back already to Football Club Barcelona. So, Champions League against Chelsea. We've not missed any games in between the last episode and this one. And when you get straight into this, this is going to be the first team's going to be out. There are no suspensions or injuries to anybody that's of importance. So let's get into the game. It's going to be interesting this because we're not just looking at the footballer here, obviously. We do want to win the game. Assistant manager says the media comment, incidentally. It's really important to watch out for any themes that we see. You know, if they don't score Chelsea, are they getting their attacks through on the highlights the same way? That kind of stuff. But we do hope to control the game at home. Hopefully win by a goal or two to nil. And take that into the game at Stamford Bridge. That's a lot of the game. Erling Haaland gets it a bit narrow, to be honest. He goes all the way down the right-hand side. Plays across to Alexander Isaac. Surely, oh, it's blocked. Half time is 0-0. We can win this still. Going to change the corners to think to mixed on the attacking. Just to uh, give us something different. And see, Fatty's going to come off. And we're going to throw on Gelson Martins. Edry off. Frankie De Jong's going to come on as well. Don't know what to do here. We are struggling a little bit to create chances. I'm going to go wing back attack for Lazaro instead of complete back support. Uh, and Nombelli should probably come off. I'll throw on Castrovilli and move Gavi back and try that. I have to go 4 4 2 it. Oh dear, this is not looking good for us at all. A lot later on here. Barcelona, Eric Garcia. Eric Garcia to the quarter to Lazaro. Lazaro going to play it, hopefully, than somebody. Yeah, Barcelona shut Castrovilli. No, he's missed it. Concerning no draw. I'm going to say unlucky, but that is a concerning no draw. Well, that was probably quite a short game. There wasn't much that happened, and I guess I'll see you in a second then for the second leg. I will miss up this game in between. It's Brea Vallecano. See you in a second. Welcome back. All you missed was an absolutely world class performance by the team. 4 1 victory. Possession was off the charts. It was 74%. You know. Considering, again, this is the B team that played. I know our B team is good, but, you know, still. Very good performance. 4-1 win, and we're going to move on to the Chelsea game here then. First team's in. The only person suspended is Gavardio, who probably would have made the bench, but he doesn't because he's suspended, and that is the team. The manager says, the media comments. Here we go then. Stamford Bridge. Champions League semi-final. Obviously quarter-final, sorry, not semi-final. But this club's been here before. It wasn't the semi-final that time, and it was a very uh, controversial game, to say the least. Lots of, um, oh, what's the word? Tough decisions, close decisions. Okay, we're going to play it from the back here. The quarter to Lazari to Gavi to Haaland. Gavi to Lazari, who's going to overlap. What's he going to do here? Plays back to Gavi, good. I'm glad he didn't just cross that, to be honest. Plays it to Pedri, good football. Pedri, a bit lazy. Ansu Fati, should have probably been a goal. Controlling the game as much as we'd like. 52% possession away from home. Corner here, guy whips it in. It's, it's going to be surely a penalty referee. It is a penalty. Erling Haaland has the chance to score for Barcelona from at Stamford Bridge. Is he going to take it? No, he's not. So now, time for everybody to dig in. Some poor performances again at the moment, which is disappointing. Although I don't really know who to bring in because a lot of our players, our better players, are already out there. So, and then buddy off the young one maybe to give us some more control temporarily here. I take Alexander Isaac off, put Haaland up front, and throw on. I think Adiem on the right hand side. I like here, Lacroix to Eric Garcia. There's a cross to Hazegaia. Hazegaia to Antti Fatu. Takes a touch place to Erling Haaland, who's 3-1 on B1, and he misses the chance. I like for Chelsea. Chilwell to Jorginho. Plays it across to Alvarez. Oh, that was close. Right. Pedri is going to have to come off, I think. Castro really can come on, I guess. I like here for Chelsea. Christensen It's going to be headed towards goal, and it's wide. I like here, Jose Gaia has it, plays it across to Castrovilli. There's a little one, two of them, gets the ball back to De Jong, to Castrovilli. Stays on it, goes through to Gavi. Gavi shoots and it's over. Time. Don't let this slip away, is what we're going to say to the players. Last change is going to be a tough one. I think it's going to have to be Antti Fati off and Gelson Martins on, to be honest. I like here, Chelsea have the ball and play it inside to Kansa. Castrovilli tries to press, doesn't quite do it quick enough, for my liking. Got three fresh players up there, should be helping with the press there, to be honest. Lukaku gets through to Alvarez, who's through on 1v1. And the keeper saves it. Chelsea play out from the back with Rudiger. Plays it across to Reese James, who gets it quite easily. Chelsea stay on the ball quite comfortably as well, which is a bit disappointing without pressing. And Hissaj has it on the left-hand side. He's right-footed, though. Doesn't matter because he crosses it his left. Now, Livakovic has it. Now, he's got 
He did have the right winger open if he wanted to play it, and he doesn't. Levikovic now goes long to Gelson Martins on the left-hand side. Plays it across to Erling Haaland. I think might be offside. We'll see. Could be a goal. Could be offside. I think he's just off. Yep, he is. Harlet here. Lazari to De Jong to Gavi. To Lazari to Gavi. Plays it back to Lazari. We can do this then. De Jong. Lazari, they link up to Ireland. Guy gets to it. Castrovilli to De Jong to Adiemi. Oh, we're giving it away, Castrovilli. De Jong, Gavi, plays it across Martins and it's wide. Penalties. Well, I guess it's like a stream mode now where I, I don't want to talk about every single penalty, I guess, but Lukaku takes the first scores. I don't know, it's, it's you know, Thomas FM, you can't really do any more at this point. You do everything you can. I think Haaland, Miss. We could have done much more. Jorginho misses, that's good, because that's their best penalty taker. I mean, they probably got slightly better takers than us, but we need to score one here. Come on, Adiemi, we need you to score. Does 1-1. One, one. Alvarez, who did miss quite a few 1v1s in this game. Scores his penalty, though. Gelson Martins takes the next one. Yeah, it's just, just disappointing, really, because we'd worked so hard to get to this point, and... It just feels a bit deflating that's come to this. Like, no goals in either leg and extra time, you know, which is crazy. And it's not like that we just held on to the ball and stopped the chances from either side. Like, both teams had a lot of uh, chances to score. And my two best penalty takers have just missed their penalties. Like, fabulous, man. That is Christensen scores. Chelsea go through. Like, the amount of chances we've missed in those two legs is ridiculous. Not score is just mind blowing, and we missed a penalty in that leg as well. Like Erling Haaland, before he missed the penalty in the shootout, he also missed a penalty during the game, which cost us. That's just so disappointing, so annoying, ridiculous. Really, we should have won that game. We one hundred percent should have won that game and gone through. Um. If we don't win the Champions League next season, I will consider this save a bit of a failure, to be honest. Because even though the tactic would have got close in terms of recreation, I expected, fully expected, one Champions League minimum in the three seasons. So this isn't good enough. Should have scored at some point in that game. And in terms of the rest of the season, I don't know what to show you because we're out of the Champions League and we're out of the cup, right? So I don't know what else to show you. The tactic's set. The tactic's not going to change. We are miles in front. I mean, I want to do the end of season review to show you how it ended up in terms of stats. But that's it. I'll probably just show you this last game of the season against Espanyol away from home in the Barcelona Catalan derby and then just show you the end of season review. That's probably what we'll do next. I mean, we had a 1.80 expected goals, one click of a chance to have chances at home in the home leg, and they had nothing. Second leg, we had 2.96 expected goals, one click at chance, six half chances, a penalty that we missed. They had almost nothing, and we didn't score then either. That's really disappointing. And this tactic has scored in every game a load of goals since we went to the attacking version. Like, the only game we struggled with a little bit was severe, and that was the backup team that played that game, you know? So, you just can't explain that, you know? Where, where did we change it to? Roughly here, wasn't it? So, four, we scored four... Back up to 4-4-4-7-4. Four, 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 four. Like, I don't know. Um, that's going to do it. That is that is situation. We can't do anything about it now. Um, Pedri's getting good. There's a lot of positives in the team, but I just... We should have won. I wanted to win two. Hopefully, you know, in an ideal situation, could have won all three. Gone three and three. Three league titles, three Champions Leagues. Now we have to win one. Now it all goes into the last season. If we don't win one the last season, this was not a success. As a, as a series, as a tactical recreation, if people are downloading it and using it and it's a good blueprint, then it's a success in terms of the tactic, right? So I'm happy with that. But in terms of the actual series, just forget the recreation just as a series. If we don't win the Champions League next season, that is it. It's not been a success. It's not been good enough, in my, in my opinion. So we'll see what happens in the, in the uh, end of the season. See who's available to bring in because we're not fucking around anymore. We've got the finances back into a decent state, and um, yeah, 28 million still now. Like the debt's gone, it did go down. I don't know why it's back up. We did get the bank, uh, bank loans and all the debts way down, so yeah, we're in a good position to go and buy somebody with loads of money. 
I'm not sure we're going to get yet, but that's been a really annoying. Alexander Isaac has actually done pretty badly so far, which I'm really concerned about because he should be good. But yeah, that's going to do the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episodes. Um, I didn't. <laughs> not the results. I'm I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed. I don't want to say too much more because I don't know what I'll say next. But yeah, I'm annoyed. That's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.